Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 1 assignment of Internet of Things. So, let's go to the first question. Which of the following is the characteristics of IoT? So, all the options are correct. So, mark option D as correct answer for first question. Moving on to the second one. Dash allows you to use our smartphones to lock and unlock our door remotely at our homes or our businesses. The answer for this is option C, digital lock. So mark C option. The third question, the function of IoT gateway is? So the answer is both A and B, that is option C. Multi-homing is the concept where a node can be connected to multiple networks for The answer is improved reliability The answer is option B Fifth question The PIR sensor is used for The answer is option C Obstacle detection Sixth question, which of the following vector sensors are required to measure or sense them? The answer for sixth question is option B, orientation, comma, image. The sensitivity of a sensor under real conditions may differ from the value specified. This is called Option D. Sensitivity Error Moving on to the 8th question A random deviation of the signal that varies in time is called Option A. Noise Ninth question a relay switch is an example of the answer for ninth question is option B an actuator tenth question what is a pneumatic actuator the answer for tenth question is option A it is a type of actuator driven by compressed air or vacuum Moving on to the 11th question, which type of actuators tend to be compact, lightweight, economical and with high power density? The answer for 11th question is option A, thermal or magnetic actuators. Twelfth question, polymer based actuators designed to handle fragile objects like fruit harvesting in agriculture or manipulating internal organs in biomedicine are called. The answer for 12th question is option B, soft actuators. 13th question, full form of SMP is option B, shape memory polymer. Shape memory polymer. Last but one question. Fourteenth one. Duty cycling of the sensors is managed by which component of IoT? Friends, uh, the maximum possibility is option B. So if you have any accurate data, please share in the comment section. But I think B is most probable answer for this. That is real time kernel. And the final question, that is 15th question, which of the following are the challenges of IoT? 
the answer is option D all of these so friends this is the video regarding the solutions of week 1 for more upcoming videos and assignments please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section so i'll try to reply to those questions and until then be safe be happy thank you bye